Clicker is the complete programming guide for internet television. If TV Guide had been born in 2009 as opposed to 1953, this is probably what it would have, what it would have looked like. Uh, it catalogs over 400,000 full episodes across thousands of sites across the entire internet, brings them together in one place so that users can find programs to watch online. Today's announcement was that we were coming out of beta, so we launched in mid-September at TechCrunch 50 uh, in private beta, which meant you could use Clicker uh, if you had an invite, and the announcement today is that you no longer need an invite. It's the doors are open, anybody can use it. No one is actually offering a similar service. Nobody has approached uh, online programming from a structured, essentially database point of view of being truly comprehensive across all premium broadcast programming and broadcast equivalent programming, meaning it could be a show that was never on real television, but is, is, is a great show about cooking or a great show about a subject like Darwin. Uh, we'll have all that. Uh, we're also structured, so it's, uh, it's in a, you can both search it and it's in a directory format with all kinds of metadata, almost like a Wikipedia for online programming. Uh, and then lastly, it's unbiased. So we don't compete with the end destination to watch it. We're the way to navigate and discover programming, and then we send you on your way there. So we're not trying to keep you on our site to watch shows at Clicker. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be an online advertising and lead generation model. Uh, you know, but our, our, our first real order of business is to get an audience. And to do that, you have to have an awesome product that people love and come back to every day. Uh, the feedback has been great so far especially during our beta period and, and things people would tweet about us and it gave us the confidence we were ready to uh, take training wheels off. So that's what we did today. Yeah, it was, it was really the feedback. If, if you know kind of like the get satisfaction tabs people have on their websites now, users can come on and tell you all their ideas, they can email you. And what happened was we got a lot of good suggestions, but about half of it was positive, like, which usually those things are used for criticism. You don't really see people just saying, hey, you're great. <laughs> and you know, as we went along, we fixed the things that needed to be fixed. And at this point, being in beta would just be an excuse to not hold us accountable anymore. And we're just like, you know what, let's just, let's just go. So we, we decided to make it happen.